All right, tycoons, super excited for today's video. We're looking at Novavax, okay? N-V-A-X. Uh, this thing went up to 2187 here intraday. Um, and, you know, that was over 20% at its highs. This thing was raging huge. I've been following it in the Discord, been mentioning it since yesterday, early, early in the morning yesterday. Um, so, you know, you could have been a part of this. You could have seen some of it. We're going to break down now what it was that I've actually been looking at on the chart uh from a technical standpoint right looking at the uh technical analysis uh we'll go over here to the daily chart all right and we had a very very nice wedge pattern forming along with bullish divergence okay and so bullish divergence is going to happen when you make a low and then a lower low right so we have a low here we have a lower low here clearly we're in a downtrend right we have a low here we have a higher low here so notice how, you know, we're starting this uptrend on the relative strength index. We're below 30, which indicates that we're very oversold, right, according to the RSI. And um, we're seeing the price continue to drop lower. Now, in the process, we created a nice little wedge pattern, all right? And now this is known as the falling wedge, the rising wedge. It got super, super, super tight down here, and we saw a very big explosion to the upside. Now, price action always precedes the news, um, and it just so happened that there was actually a news catalyst that recently came out uh, afterwards and just helped really to for this pattern to play out and get that nice breakout, all right? So ultimately, um, this is going to go two ways, right? We're either going to have a look above and fail and continue heading lower, all right? Or we're going to come back up for the nice healthy retest of 2328, uh, which in my opinion, uh, is most likely for this, right? We had our blue breakout level to the downside. We came down, hit our price targets here, all right? And we have not retested that level since breaking through, right? So we're trading down. We could come up for a retest and then possibly head back lower, or the momentum may continue as we have a daily gap on the chart to fill at this area here. This happens when the stock closes at one price at the end of the day, and then it opens much lower than that given price all right so we have pretty much a gap up here to 25 uh is what we're going to call it and if we're able to get past this 23 28 uh resistance level there's nothing really stopping us from filling this gap up to 25. Uh, something else really notable to mention is that biotech has remained uh one of the risk on assets um in this really risk off market landscape that we're in currently all right. So that's a really, really big thing to factor in. Um, and if you see a lot of analysts, you're watching CNBC or you're on Market Watch or something like that, you know, time and time again throughout this year, they've been mentioning that, you know, biotech related plays are seemed as uh, a little bit safer in this uh, environment uh, because it's a little bit known as a defensive play. Um, and then there's also so many catalysts within the biotech field and landscape as well, um, you know, happening weekly, right? So the specific catalyst that started this rally is going to be right over here, okay? Um, the Switzer actually Switzerland's federal public office, okay, they recommended Novavax's new vaxoid, uh, new, I don't know how to say that, okay, but it's basically their COVID-19 uh, vaccine as a booster in adults aged 18 and older. This came out on October 10th, and then we can go ahead and look at the chart, and we can see that, you know, we had some really amazing days right after that, okay? Um, so the 10th came out on Sunday, uh, or, or the news came out over the weekend, right? We had a very red day. And then Monday, all right, we got a very nice move to the upside of 10%. And since then, we've hit highs of up to 34%, uh, currently sitting at about 25% uh, gains if you were able to get in on Monday. Now, again, I went over this in the Discord. Um, so if you want to join the Discord, the link to join the Discord is going to be in the description below. And if we take a look here, all right, um, we'll go over here and you can search a stock by its ticker symbol in the Discord, and it's going to pull up all of the data for you, right? So earlier, you know, I was mentioning how it's up 20% now before I started recording this video. Um, yesterday, look at all of the unusual options activity that was coming through, right? We had the uh, $46,000 of premium, $72,000 of premium, another $72,000 worth of premium. Um, and, you know, this, this stuff just kept flowing in, right? We've got $26,000. Uh, now in there. And, um, you know, unusual Wales was also uh, posting, you know, some of the unusual option activity. 
Um, and again, you know, yesterday I was mentioning up, uh, not yesterday. This is very old. That's from September 27th. But yeah, yesterday I was mentioning here at uh, 953, okay, that, you know, uh, Novavax was up 10%. I went ahead and gave the signal, gave the catalyst in here. Um, and, you know, I mentioned how this stock was $236 earlier this year. If we zoom out, we can actually go ahead and take a look at that. And uh, this thing has just been an absolute, absolute bloodbath, right? We look at the 52-week highs, and they're all the way up here astronomically up at 236.5. Uh, today, we're at 26, uh, 20.61. So, you know, really nice move. All right. We just hit lows of 16. So again, you know, uh, from the lows to the highs there, that was over a 30% move. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe. If you want to gain access to all of our call outs, our entries and exits, um, all of the intel and data that comes with the Options Trading Tycoons Discord, the link to join is in the description below. If you use code Zachly, like the channel name Zachly Trades, you can get a discount on your membership.